Hi, Chris Schillinger from PPL Electric Utilities. We've brought our uh, safety demonstration exhibit trailer here uh, to Northampton County 911 Center by their request. And we've gathered as many first responders from Northampton County that we that we can. And, and our message is, is safety when, our, when their jobs or emergencies warrant that they're going to need to get in contact and or close proximity of our electric facilities. We're going to show you what happens with your average turnout boot. And it's probably in better condition than some first responders rubber boots because it is rubber is not an indication that it will not conduct electricity. Does rubber conduct electricity? Absolutely. If it did not, we would never have to get our glove sleeves and test it over shoes tested at all. Going out. Here's a set, a pair of regular leather work gloves. Closing our switch gear. Going hot. Going hot. hot. Here's why the gloves will not protect you. Difference in potential. So when Carl Crow reaches over to pack something on the not insulated side, meaning a path to ground. Watch what happens. This is a lot of times why you don't have lights in the evening. Going hot, going hot. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. hot. You're also indicated by that overhead light that you know our system's live. These minor wall balloons will pick up electricity. And we're going to show you that. Imagine this on an aluminized ribbon tied to your child's arm or the stroller. Hot. Hot. Go on. Uh, here we go. He's going to walk over across that switch because the switch is open without the throttle and fuse it. Hopefully, you'll be able to see with this sun how that's going to track electricity. This is actually one of the apprentices tests we get. Look at that. It's actually waiting that old test of dawn light. Proving its conductability. 